Welcome to Excel Deploy. In this video, we'll look at how Excel Deploy works with JBoss Application Server, also known as Wildfly. First, let's see how deployment to JBoss is done, starting with a standalone server setup. In a standalone setup, application artifacts such as ear files are deployed to a single server. This server is where you can log in to the JBoss management interface. You also have one default profile, which is assigned to the server. Resources such as data sources and JMS queues are defined on the profile. To deploy an application to a standalone server, you would log in to the JBoss management interface, manually upload files, and manually enter configuration information for the profile. Now let's see how you would deploy an application to a standalone setup using Excel Deploy. Everything that you define in Excel Deploy, from applications to infrastructure, is a configuration item. A configuration item's type determines the properties that you can set for it and the way that Excel Deploy will deploy it. So, you define your standalone JBoss server as a JBossDM.standalone server configuration item type. The prefix is JBossDM because this is the Excel Deploy plugin that supports deployment to JBoss and Wildfly. The configuration item contains properties of the server, such as the directory where it is installed. It also contains the credentials needed to access the JBoss command line interface. The resource configuration that should be added to the default profile is also stored in a configuration item. While there are several different configuration item types for resources, the most commonly used type is JBossDM.DataSourceSpec. Excel Deploy copies the ear file itself to the server. The configuration item type for this is JBossDM.Ear. In Excel Deploy, your application is contained in a deployment package. This package contains the ear file, data source specifications, and any other artifacts or resources that are needed. In Excel Deploy terminology, the artifacts and resources in a deployment package are called deployables. To recap, here's the jbossdm.standalone server configuration item, and here are the jbossdm.ear and jbossdm.datasource spec. Excel Deploy puts the data source specifications in the profile and deploys the ear file on the server. When you set up a deployment, Excel Deploy maps the ear file and the data source spec to the standalone server. These mapped deployables are called deploids. In the properties of the data source deployed, you can see the values that Excel Deploy will put in the profile. Now let's deploy the application. First, Excel Deploy adds the data source specifications to the profile. Then it deploys the ear file. And the deployment is complete. Excel Deploy can also deploy to a JBoss managed domain. Managed domains allow you to manage multiple JBoss instances from a single control point. A managed domain contains server groups, which contain servers. Profiles are assigned to the server groups. You can deploy ear files to the server groups and define resources in the profiles. Deployment to a managed domain works much like deployment to a standalone server. Each server group is a jbossdm.servergroup configuration item, and each profile is a jbossdm.profile configuration item. Excel Deploy's discovery feature allows you to automatically discover the server groups and profiles in your domain. You simply provide some basic information so Excel Deploy can query JBoss, and Excel Deploy discovers the server groups and profiles. You can save them as configuration items with a single click. When you set up a deployment, Excel Deploy maps the ear file to the server groups and maps the data source specification to the profiles. As you can see, Excel Deploy's deployment model works no matter what your JBoss setup looks like. For more information about Excel Deploy and JBoss, visit our documentation site at docs.zblabs.com.